Dash deals with techniques of using live organisms to produce products and processes useful for human beings. So these are the options, cytology, genetics, microbiology, biotechnology. So what would be the answer of this? And that would be biotechnology. So what is the term used to refer to the use of bio resources by multinational companies without proper authorization from the countries concerned, without compensatory payment? And the answer would be biopiracy. GEAC. GEAC is an organization that is set up by Indian government to make decisions regarding the validity of genetically modified organisms research and safety of genetically modified organisms for public services. Now, what is GEAC? So that would be Genetic Engineering Approval Let's submit and see. Yeah, that's correct. The next is which of the following techniques can be used to detect the presence of HIV in blood? Uh, not urine analysis, uh, PCR technique. Yeah, that is there. A main is the ELISA. Anyway, it's not viral test because that's for finding out typhoid. So there are two answers for this question. PCR technique and ELISA. Yeah, that turned out correct. Now the next question is, the technique used to detect mutated genes in cancer patients by allowing radioactively labeled probes to bind with their complementary basis on DNA of patients and then visualizing them through photographic film. That's called as, so since it is visualizing through photographic film, whether the radioactively labeled probes are able to bind with their complementary basis on DNA of patients. So the answer would be autoradiography. Let's see. Yeah, and that's correct. Next question is ELISA stands for what? And this test detects the presence of what? So ELISA stands for enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. And this test is actually detecting the presence of either antibodies and in our blood against that virus or the antigens. The antigens means the parts of the virus that would be present, like proteins of the virus that would be present. The first transgenic cow, Rosie, produced milk rich in human protein named as what? And that is alpha 
lactal women. Alpha lactal women. And that's the right answer. Next is very low concentration of bacteria or viruses in human body can be detected using which of the following methods? So if it is serum analysis, no low concentration cannot be detected. And if it's urine analysis also, low concentration of the pathogen cannot be detected. So the answer is polymerase chain reaction because this reaction can amplify the DNA strands. So the answer would be PCR. Then comes as a cure for adenosine deaminase deficiency. It's an enzyme, adenosine deaminase. Which one of the following would be a complete cure? There are different techniques by which you can cure the disease. Either you can do bone marrow transplantation, enzyme replacement therapy, and the other one is introducing the adenosine deaminase gene from bone marrow cells into the cells at early embryonic stages. Yes, all the three methods are treatments for this problem, adenosine deaminase deficiency. Adenosine deaminase is important for immunity. But if it is bone marrow transplantation and enzyme replacement therapy, it has to be continuously, consistently done. It won't be a permanent cure. So the answer is introducing the gene for adenosine deaminase from marrow cells into early embryo stages. That would be a permanent cure. Ellie Lilly, an American company, prepared pre DNA sequences that codes for peptide A and B of insulin hormone and introduced them into E. coli to produce chains a and B separately. After producing the chains A and B separately, they combine with dash bonds, what bonds? To form mature human insulin. So we have to draw and show they, what did they do? They synthesized first Peptide chains, A peptide chain first by putting the gene inside the E. coli culture. And they also synthesized the B chain by culturing the B peptide chains in bacteria. And then they combined them with the disulfide bridges and that led to the formation of the mature insulin because mature insulin will not have a type of peptide that's called as C peptide. C peptide will not be there. So this will form the mature insulin which Eli Lilly the company prepared. The pro-insulin has an extra stretch of peptide called DASH, which is not present in mature insulin. This question was just uh, dealt with. What will be the answer for this? And then uh, the answer is C-peptide. So C-peptide is present only in insulin that means they are not mature so the c peptide has to be removed in order to create a mature form of insulin insulin hormone used for diabetes was earlier extracted from the pancreas of slaughtered cattle and pigs but some patients developed something to the foreign protein. What did they develop? Because it, those proteins were not human beings, they developed 
allergy. So the answer is that they developed allergy. Now, which part of tobacco plants are infected by the nematode Meloidegyne incognitia? So the nematode Meloidegyne incognitia were infecting the roots of tobacco plants. Next question is, nematode specific genes were introduced into tobacco plant in order to silence the mRNA of Melodigine incognitia by the vector named dash. So this nematode specific genes means the genes that was complementary to the RNA of Melodigine incognitia in order to silence the RNA of melodigyne incognitia, also called RNA interference, so that they won't be able to produce a protein that is harmful towards the tobacco plants. And to introduce them, they used a vector, and the vector was a bacteria named as agrobacterium. Cry. Now, cry is actually, in this case, it's a gene that is present in the bacteria Bacillus thuringiensis. And there are different forms of cry genes. Cry 1AC and cry 2AB genes of Bacillus thuringiensis control which of the following best? Is it uh, corn borer or cotton ballworms or melodigyne incognitia. While the corn borer and cotton ball, ballworms, they both are pests which infect some of the other plants. Mm. This, these genes, they control the cotton ballworms. Now, which of the following insects are Lepidopterans? Now, the insects belong to different, different categories, different orders. So, tobacco budworm, beetle, and flies, which amongst this belongs to the order Lepidoptera? So, the answer would be tobacco budworm. Why does Bt toxin not kill the bacteria bacillus? So the toxin is present inside the bacteria bacillus. Still, it doesn't kill bacillus thuringiensis. So what is the reason? The reason is that this toxin becomes active only in the presence of an alkaline environment. And that is present inside the gut of insects. So that's why this toxin becomes active only when it is ingested by an insect, but not inside the body of bacteria. So the toxin gets activated in the presence of alkaline environment found inside insects, found inside gut of insects. Bt toxin protein is inactive inside the bacteria. This is the answer. It becomes active when it's exposed to alkaline conditions found inside the gut of insect. The active toxin cause cell swelling and pores in their guts, leading to insect's death. So this is what happens if toxin enters into the gut of insects. 
three options for increasing food production in our country. Now there are three options uh, for increasing the food production. One is to use chemicals, chemical fertilizers, chemical pesticides. So that is called agrochemical based or techniques. Then the second is So there is agrochemical based method can be used to increase the agriculture like green revolution. But there are problems, you know, there, there is chemicals there, so it can lead to environmental pollution. And then comes organic farming. Organic farming, they use only biopesticides, biofertilizers. And the third method is genetically engineer the crop. So there will be no need of using the inputs of chemicals. So the crop will be resistant towards the pest and the other abiotic stresses from within. So that is a benefit of genetically engineered crops. <laughs> 